Hey, kings and queens, this is Queen Mimi, and I'm back with another video. So, the title is the truth, okay? Yes, I did test positive for COVID, and um, yeah, I was just as shocked as well. Yes, I was sick. If you guys watched my recent video, I did a video, uh, get ready, get ready with me, chit chat, sick edition. I was not feeling good that particular day. My body was aching. I had a headache. I had a low grade fever. I was coughing, sneezing, snot. I couldn't breathe. Like all the symptoms I had, and I did not feel good. But I, I wanted to push myself and be positive throughout the whole thing because I was declaring that I was healed. I was healed, and you know. Um, so I did a COVID test and it was positive and I was still in shock. So I did another COVID test and, um, it was positive. So the test, the two tests were confirmed that I indeed had COVID, but, um, you know, I started to like, in a way, kind of like, I don't know. I felt like I had a death sentence or something like that. And then I told myself, I was like, no. You cannot think like that. You know, you are a believer. Like if, 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 if nobody knew, I'm a believer of Jesus Christ. I believe that Christ died for my sin and he resurrected in three days with all power and glory. Okay. And he left us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit demands for us to live a life of holiness, okay, is commended. You cannot be a believer and not believe the things that God say, how you're supposed to live, how you're supposed to treat people, how you're supposed to act. Now, keep in mind, nobody's perfect. It's a progressing thing. It's a progressing thing. I'm nowhere near perfect. But I started, when I started to have that feeling and I find myself proclaiming and and, and whining and, com and and complaining about how I was feeling, I made up in my mind to push through. And that's how that video came to be. And I continue to proclaim the word of God because God said that I am healed. He said that I am healed, okay? Um, he said that all my diseases, all my viruses, all my cancers, all my headaches, all my pain, all my shame, all my regret has been nailed to the cross. So if I'm a believer of the God Almighty who came down in flesh and died for my sins, how more? How more can I just, you know, accept that? You know, it, it was freely given to me. You know, you know, I had to declare what the enemy was trying to put in my heart, that it was a lie. Yes, the test said positive. That's the reality. But the truth is, I am healed. So I started to proclaim that and I started to just, no matter how I felt, no matter what the symptoms were, no matter what my body was going through, no matter how long it took, that I knew that I was healed. I was healed because Christ said I was healed. He said that I was healed. So therefore I started to I started to proclaim every time I felt like my body ate and I wanted to complain and I wanted to this and I wanted to that, you know, I I would be like, man, my body hurt, but thank God I'm healed. Oh man, I got this headache. Thank God I'm healed. Let me go lay down because I know I'm healed. I know I'm healed. Like, like I was, I was acknowledging the, uh, the, the fact, but I was declaring the truth over my, over myself. You know, I, the reason why I'm talking like this is, is, is because I wanted to come on here to, to talk to anybody or maybe, um, encourage anybody who recently been tested positive with COVID and is feeling their worst, feeling the symptoms right now. I want to tell you that do not, do not fear, fear not for the Lord is with you. He will not forsake you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You're healed. You know, but the news will put so much fear in people. Oh, if you this age bracket, if you if you obese, and if you this, and if you that, and you, and and you know, it's just it's just on and on and on. If you, if you think about it, then everybody should be, you know, a high risk for COVID. You know, God Almighty wanted me to tell you that you are healed. 
Do not let the social media, the news put fear in you because God did not give you a spirit of fear. That's in Luke. He did not give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of power, um, um, spirit of power and sound mind. Okay, sound mind means peace without understanding that, yeah, your body is saying this, but you know in your heart that God will heal you. You know, and I I proclaim that over me. I declare that over me, no matter what the symptoms were. <clears throat> no, no, um, no matter what the symptoms were that I proclaimed that I was still healed. OK, and I, I also have a group of like church members and friends, like minded believers that were praying for me because the Bible also says if one or two are in agreement whatever you're praying for, it shall be done. It shall be done. That's what the words say. And I believe that. I sincerely believe the word of God because God said he is a, a, a God that will not lie. You know, we already know the devils are fathers of lies. So if we know the devils are fathers of lies, you know, how much more do we not believe God? Like, I mean, if we believe that the devil is a father of lies, right? Why not believe that God is not a lie? Right? If you believe there's a hell, obviously there's a heaven. If you believe there's a devil, obviously there's a God. You know, it's just simple math. It don't even take rocket scientists to figure thing that that uh that out. Like you walk out your door, you are a living testimony of what God did for you. Uh, you know, because you're breathing, your lungs are inhaling, your heart is beating. I declare that I'm going to start thinking different, moving different. You know, seeing things different, perceiving things differently. Um, you know move with understanding and wisdom because you cannot keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. It's just not going to happen. You have to do something different if you want something different to happen. And what I'm doing different is raising my faith in this time. Raising my faith, encouraging others. So right now, with that being said, I just want to give a little, want to say a little prayer because my heart right now really want to pray for those who are struggling right now because I'm telling you when I was down I was like a you know in Creole because I'm Haitian it'd be like um um I was like a kadav kadav mean like a dead person I was a man down okay I was a man down it was like I was done I was done, you know, but God kept me and then he and, and, and his word in my heart kept me. His word in my heart kept me because I know God loved me. He loves me. God loves me. Oh, he loves me so much. And I respond back in love. I respond back in love by respecting him, by honoring him, by worshiping him, by loving him back, by walking in love, by declaring his promises, by believing in him. You know, I love him back because he loved me. And because he loved me, he healed me from COVID. He healed me from all the symptoms I had from, from COVID. So right now, if, if, if everybody would just touch and agree with me right now, Father, Lord, we thank you. We know who you are. You are the the great I am that I am. You are the El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are sovereign. You reign. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the one true living God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Oh God, we worship you. We exalt your holy name. We give you the glory and the honor. We thank you for what you're doing right now in our body. You're healing our body from diseases. Oh God, because in your word, you said that it is finished. We are healed. We are healed all our diseases. Jesus, all our pain, all our body aches, everything right now is nailed to the cross, oh God. So we stand and believe in your healing, oh God. We believe in your word. We stand on your promises right now. Heavenly Father, help our unbelief right now, Father. Help those, God, who are doubting you, oh God. Heavenly Father, reach out and touch them, for your hands is always outstretched to them, oh God. Touch them right now. I dare you to put your hand up and reach out to God, 
for he's touching you right now. He's touching your heart right now. He's telling you that I am with you. You are healed. You will not die from COVID. You will not die from any disease right now that your body is conflicted, is, 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 is afflicted with right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for the healing. We thank you right now for the faith that we thank you right now. Oh God, for, for, for the new thing that you're doing. Heavenly Father, we come against the spirit of fear right now. Oh God, we cast down, we take fear, hold it captive, and we subject it to your word, oh God. We tell fear to die right now. We tell doubt to die right now. We tell worry to die right now. We stand on your promise, oh God. We ask for your peace right now, Heavenly Father, that surpasses all understanding, oh God that even the human mind and the world don't even understand. Oh God, that we'll stand on you. We'll sleep like babies, oh God. We thank you right now, Father. We bless you, oh God. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the comfort that you're bringing. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the guidance that you're bringing. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us all the things, all the mysteries of our Father and Christ sitting in heaven. We bless you right now. I pray all these things in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Well, if you said that prayer and you believe with me in your heart, it is so. You are healed. Declare it. Just like affirmations. Just like affirmations. You are healed. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will be healed. I'm healed. I feel so much better. I feel so much better in my body, in my mind. Like, I'm just so grateful and thankful to God. Anyways, I can go on and on and on. I can talk. Let me tell you, I can talk. But I thank God and I thank God for y'all. And I pray that healing is yours. I pray that you believe that you are healed. I pray that your body start to line up with your word. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening. Be blessed. Love you. Mwah.